phase in AC circuits. We have here a resistor and a voltage source. When we connect the resistor to this voltage source, current will flow through it. What is the shape of the current? The voltage has a sine wave shape that is V equal to Vm sin omega t. We know that the current through a resistor can be obtained by the Ohm's law that is I equal to V by R. So the equation for current becomes I equal to Vm by R into sin omega t. This means that the current through the resistor follows the voltage waveform or we say that the voltage and current are in phase. Next, we connect an inductor to the AC voltage source. Here also a current will flow through the inductor. But the equation for current is slightly different. For an inductor, the voltage current relation is V equal to L into di by dt or we can rearrange it to write I equal to 1 by L into integral V dot dt. For a sinusoidal voltage, current I is equal to 1 by L into integral Vm sin omega t into dt, which is equal to Vm by L omega into negative cos omega t. A cosine waveform can be represented as a phase shifted sine wave by this trigonometric identity. Cos omega t is equal to sin pi by 2 minus omega t. Then I is equal to Vm by L omega into negative sin of pi by 2 minus omega t. But negative sin omega t is equal to sin of negative omega t. So I is equal to Vm by L omega into sin omega t minus pi by 2. This means in the case of an inductive load, the current will lag behind the voltage by pi by 2 radians. If we plot the voltage across and current through an inductor on the same graph, we can see that. Now, let us remove the inductor and connect a capacitor across the AC voltage source. The current through the capacitor is given by the expression V equal to 1 by C into integral I dot dt. We can rearrange and write the expression for current as I equal to C into dV by dt. For the sinusoidal voltage input, the expression for current becomes I equal to C into d by dt of Vm sin omega t, which is equal to C into Vm into d by dt of sin omega t, which is equal to C into Vm into omega into cos omega t. Using the trigonometric identity, cos omega t is equal to sin omega t plus pi by 2, we can write I is equal to C into Vm into omega into sin omega t plus pi by 2. In the case of a capacitive load, the current will lead the voltage by pi by 2 radians. The plots of voltage across and current through a capacitor is shown here. Let us now compare the voltage current relations of the three types of passive elements for an AC input. For a resistor, the current and voltage are in phase. That means they become zero at the same time, have maximum or minimum values at the same time. In the case of an inductor, the current lags the voltage by pi by 2 radians. That means current will have its maxima or minima value after the voltage had its maxima or minima value. For a capacitor, the current will lead the voltage by pi by 2 radians. That means current will reach the maximum value before the voltage does. In both these cases, we say that the current and voltage are out of phase by pi by 2 radians.